Hi, my name is Mayan Shaw with RV Max Style US, and right behind me is a 2008 Winnebago Destination 37G. If you're a subscriber, welcome back and thank you. Um, let's go to get started on this coach. This is a 37 and a half foot long coach. We've got a one piece windshield up front with a very aggressive looking face here. Um, there's a little bit of clear coat coming off on this little piece here. And there's bits and pieces of clear coming off here and there on the coach. In a nutshell, before we walk through the entirety of this bus, um, this has been very well maintained. It's been serviced. It's been taken care of by a couple who knows a lot about owning and operating big heavy machinery. So owning this uh, was like a little fidget spinner for them and taking care of it is like nothing. You know, some people, it's new to them and you know it's it takes a little while to get to understand the coach and that's okay um, but it's nice knowing that it was owned um, by experienced people and taken care of very well from a fundamental standpoint and it includes this little cosmetic flaws all right it's a really nice bus we've got an onan 6000 watt quiet diesel generator up front and it works great right now we've got the basement air conditioning on and the thing is ice cold in there now around the side um, You've got a nice looking paint job, side cameras here, brand new side cameras, brand new rear camera, brand new big nice touchscreen head unit in the front of the coach, cold dash AC, which is a rarity. Um, and yeah, you, you'll freeze in this, in this coach. Unlike us right now, we're hot. I can't wait to get on the inside of this coach. Windshield up here is free from any fog. Fuse box for the chassis side of the coach tiny amount of storage We've got our exhaust pipe for the generator coming out the side there this destination by the way is on a Freightliner chassis air ride 6.7 liter Cummins in the back there's a lot of these destinations that have gas engines in the back um, and it's definitely preferable to have the diesel uh, for 9 out of 10 situations we've got 17 day code 37th week of 17 Michelin tires all the right all the way around no dry rot cracks whatsoever on these tires, um, and they look good. We've got our fuel tank right here. We've got our first big main slide. This pulls out the living room. We've got a dinette here, and we've got a couch right here. Those windows don't have any fog, and they've got a very, very nice tent on them. You can see out no problem. Privacy in the coach, because um, you can't really see in them. Now we've got storage right here. That little metal piece down there is just like to hold things down um, if you got heavy items in this compartment. It passes through to the two other compartments up on the top part, and it's an easy to clean material here. Now there's actually storage back in there too, by the way. They just don't let you open this compartment because you've got slide out components that come out there. Now right here is our plumbing bay. Um, bit of rust comes free of charge. We've got our dump, straightforward bay. This is basically just utilities. Water filter on the left, easy winterization setup where you can stick this pipe down in your can of, um, or bottle of antifreeze. We've got a water tank drain there. Turn the pump on and you can turn on your outside light. There's an outside light on the driver rear corner of this coach. There's also a nice black tank flush here and an outside shower with an upgraded head. I like that head. Now right up here, we've got our 10 gallon hot water heater, um, easy access to it and has an extra accessory so dirt daubers and bugs can't get up in there. Dually tires back here. Long 50 amp power cable here. We've got our automatic transfer switch as well as a small inverter right there. So this coach does have an inverter. You can operate your outside lights here. There's a 12 volt um, power connection here. LED lights for the outside lights. Oh, that's gonna turn on that. See, even that one up there on the back corner of the bus has been upgraded to LED. Those are really nice to have when you're hooking up and it's dark or you're just coming over here um, in the middle of the night to get to your stuff. A little bit of clear coming off right here. Um, really, when you step back, you don't, you don't really notice it, but it does have those little flaws here and there. This is the intake for our engine. 
chromed out exhaust pipe, 6.7 liter Cummins, 340 horsepower, 660 pound-feet of torque, Allison 2500 transmission, and guess what? A 10,000 pound towing capacity. That is a big towing capacity. This is a cool mesh grille, rear radiated, big access panel to it. The styling is pretty nice on these Winnebago's. They didn't change them a lot and they're very unique. Um, so they don't just blend in. It just looks like a nice RV. I mean, people aren't gonna look at it and be like, oh, that's a Winnebago. But most people who don't know RVs will be like, wow, what year is that? Um, until they get close, they see some of the clear coming off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I like these taillights. See, they're big taillights. They just look really cool on the bus. I, I happen to really like that. Reverse lights are super bright too. That's another nice plus. Backup camera, remember, has been upgraded. Beautiful, big color, you, wide angle. New cameras are nice. These are high-end cameras. This right here is our basement air conditioning system. Um, so this air conditioning system, when it's on, you will not hear it when you're in the coach. All you hear is a little bit of air coming out the vents. So that is a huge plus. Um, obviously, the only con is there's not as many people comfortable with working on them. But really, if you find somebody who knows how to work on them, it's not that big of a deal as we've discovered, as I've learned gaining more experience in the RV business. Um, you can drop these down. They're not that bad to work on really at the end of the day. They're made to work on either 30 or 50 amp. There's two compressors in there and it will absolutely freeze you out of this coat. All right, let's go check out that legendary Winnebago fiberglass roof. All right, we are up on the fiberglass roof. Big one piece fiberglass. Winnebago's been doing that for a good for a long time and they make a solid roof. This is a solid roof. Um, I've been walking up here, hanging out. Got nice seals, fresh seals on the back. Um, well, fresh as in they're not cracking. They're not in need of being caulked. You know, it's kind of like tires. You see them start to crack up. That's when you start to replace them. All right. Got a little solar panel here. Solar panel has a little bit of damage on the corner. It's a tiny solar panel, but that does mean it's wired. And we've got a vent fan right here with a weather protection cover aftermarket put on it. And then we've got our tank vent. Getting good seals around the tank vent. We've got um, another exhaust fan here with the aftermarket shroud. Quite nice to have that. Refrigerator exhaust vent, which has all been insulated up now that the added um, or upgraded household refrigerator is going on down there. Got our antenna here, local TV antenna. Pick up local channels. A little bit of uh, previous damage, just a small amount there, and it's all properly sealed over. This is how you repair it. And there are no leaks on this coach whatsoever. Front cap here. Big front cap, so it's good to see. You know, it comes over onto the roof a lot. Sealed is good, in good shape. And we've got aluminum shrouds um, covering, or an aluminum shroud covering our big patio awning. I like the roof. It's all solid under my feet. Looks good. Heck yeah. All right, now we're back down on the bottom. We've got our second slide out located right here. This pops out the bedroom. There's a window right there. This has a north-south bed. Very nice design for on-the-go living quarters because when your slides are closed, you can easily get in out of bed, two people on that bed, and not have to climb over each other. It's very nice. This is our battery compartment. We've got coach and chassis batteries. These are fresh batteries, good batteries in this coach. Now here we have our passenger side dually. This piece right here was replaced and there's a small little scuff on this side compartment right there. Now this compartment is where our propane tank is. 28 gallon propane tank right there. And that'll run our hot water heater as well as our furnace. Um, and this actually has an upgraded, professionally upgraded household refrigerator in it. This is our dual furnace unit. And we've got storage, got water that happens. I know. Got more storage, this is that pass through storage. Big storage. Um, it's not like that super deep pass through, but it's still pass through. We've got our ladder extension in there, extra awning rod for our big 
awning. This has a 19 and a half foot awning. So that is a huge awning. Starts here and ends way up there, right here. So that will give you huge patio space and there's no slide there taking up the space either. Our kitchen has a window there too. So hangout space is gonna be terrific. There's always pros and cons. Electric awnings are nice, but the manual awnings, you can get the angle with. So um, like I said, there's pros and cons to having electric versus manual. That's a big pro of the manual is you can angle it however you'd like um, and be able to vary it uh, much more. Now this is just an extra small storage compartment. There's an access panel to the side of the generator actually in there, which is thoughtful. This has a mid-entry design with a triple step. Let's go step inside. All right, we're on the interior now. This coach has, first of all, nice tall ceilings being an 08. Um, and the woodwork is top notch. We've got beautiful woodwork all around the coach. Cabinets are gorgeous. There's actually a lot of accent lights in here too, um, which we'll highlight as we go through it. But when you first walk in, we've got a mid-entry here. You've got this nice path of linoleum that goes all the way back and fills the bathroom space as well as your kitchen um, and gives you a walkway. All the other areas are covered in carpet. This carpet is clean, it's nice, it's got a design in it, and it's a little bit thick too. So when you're walking on it, it feels pretty good. Now right here we've got a nice Euro recliner. Leather is in beautiful condition. Um, no flaking away or tearing or anything like that. And across from that, we've got a dinette here and a couch. This couch actually has a bunch of storage underneath. Instead of folding out or something like that, what you do is you take these cushions off, open this up, and there's a massive amount of storage up underneath. We've also got seat belts here. Place it right back down. The upholstery here is again in nice shape. Um, there are a few stains they almost look like the fabric is just like going in the wrong direction or something. Um, you know how you can like put your hand on like a suede or something. So it's pretty minor, but they do exist. And if you wanted those recovered, it's just this piece, these two pieces there. Um, I guess you could do this back piece too. So it's not like the whole couch. The leather is actually in excellent shape. This whole slide out, when it goes out, it goes down and becomes flush so you've got no lip here nice little piece the woodwork is gorgeous there's a lot of these pieces that are built to conform with the style um, I believe could be wrong that this is like a French design uh, cabinet work or it's like a French designed cabinet work set in here um, there's a couple little accent pieces with this lighter maple color and as you can see up here the wood is quite nice and up in the front, it's all decked out. This whole piece here is all storage. And there's a nice accent light piece all the way up in there. Now the cockpit is sweet. We've got a bunch of upgraded, we've got an upgraded sound system, head unit. The cockpit is quite nice to get in and out for the passenger especially. There's huge space here because of course our entrance door is in here. Dash is in good shape. There's a storage compartment over here, big storage, nice cup holder. This uh, material, it's like a thin little material that they put over the wood is flaking off over here, as you can see, right by the cup holder. And back behind, oh, by the way, both front chairs, nice condition. No flaking, nothing like that. They're perfect. Right over here, we've got storage, um, large amount of storage. And we've got all of our original manuals for the coach. We've got windows here, you can open those up. Leather covered uh, treatments around the windows, they look quite nice. And there's another window behind that recliner. Now let's go into the kitchen space. This is a galley, sleek woodwork again, and these nice hinges that kind of have a soft close feature to them. But there's a massive amount of storage underneath this kitchen. 
We've got a dual stainless sink here, cutting board insert cover piece, pretty deep dual stainless. And this faucet has been updated to a newer style faucet with the pot cleaner on it. Bless you. Now back here, there's another window. It's locked in place. I'm going to leave it, but you can unlock it and roll it up if you want. So you have daylight out of the coach. Outlets here, nice lighting, hood vent with a vent fan on it. And a really nice, almost household looking three burner gas stove. The burners are huge, first of all, auto lighters. And then down below, we've got our um, convection microwave oven. There's a small little dent here in the microwave oven, but it has been tested. So it's still an absolutely sound door. This is like a big dual pane. That's just a little cover outside piece that has a little dent in it. But this whole unit looks quite nice with all the little venting around it. It just looks like a household unit and I really like how it looks. Up above, lots of storage. Super deep, nice pantry space. And look at this big curved wood piece here. It's quite nice. Notice the accent lights up above the kitchen space as well. Um, and to finish off the galley, we've got a upgraded brand new, this has never had food in it, except my water bottle, household refrigerator. Huge space, super deep, massive freezer. It's ice cold. And a huge thing I like about this too is the trim work was done nicely. So you've got this beautiful trim work. It's stained. It looks like um, it could be from the factory. It's done very nice. Also the brackets inside here um, are a huge plus. The brackets were all it's got wood pieces all around where the refrigerator is mounted in and bolted in and another big plus about this refrigerator is there's a bunch of insulation all around added on this refrigerator job so you're not going to get that heat coming in from the outside over here we've got an upgraded tcl smart tv it's roku tv built in cabinets up above with these nice glass pieces and guess what karaoke machine baby that's right. You can be singing and having fun in here. No problem. Blu-ray player over to the left. Um, smart TV is nice to have. And then there's just large storage down below and great access to our 10 gallon hot water heater. Now, one thing I want to mention before we move on to the middle part of this coach, um, there has been a lot of service. I think I've mentioned the previous owner in history and I want to go ahead and highlight some of the things that have been done to this coach. One of the big things is all of the actuator valves um, for the hydraulic leveling system have been replaced. All of the airbags have been replaced. The airbag valves have been replaced. We've got an entire new exhaust system on the coach, all the way up to the headers, replaced. No exhaust leaks whatsoever. This is just a few of, of many things that were done to take care of this coach um, during the last couple of years. Um, and some other things that are worth noting are two front wheel bearings were replaced brand new. They didn't even need to be replaced, but while they're in there, they said, screw it, we're going to go and do it. So this coach has been excellently maintained, um, to say the least. Also, the, uh, one of the compressors on the air conditioning system was replaced too on the main residential. Okay, let's step back here. Back here, we've got our uh, bathroom space, but on the right, before we get there, we've got all of our control center. So you've got our thermostat for your air conditioner. Um, by the way, the air conditioner can act as a heat pump and pipe, pipe heat into the coach. And you can also turn on your propane heater from here. That's to control the inverter. And then right here is our power line energy management system. So it's showing what you draw and it will try to keep you from tripping power by shutting off power to certain things if you only have 30 amp or so. Right now we're drawing 30 amps off the generator. And we have been for the last couple of hours. Up above, you can check your tanks. You can turn on your water heater from here. Um, and this water heater has a 110 element in it. A little bit of solar up top. The generator has 1,689 hours. Um, that's barely anything on uh, Onan diesel generator. We've got a block heater here. We've also got a master slide control kill with a key. Um, and then our slide controls here, in addition to electronic slide locks. That is the main control center. As we step into the bathroom space here, we've got a nice sink here over on the right. We've got very stylish upgraded faucet here. I absolutely love how that looks. Outlets on the right, LED lights. A lot of lights in here have been upgraded to LEDs. All of these ceiling lights 
have been changed to LEDs, vanity lights have been changed to LEDs, and numerous other lights throughout the coach, um, including exterior lights, have been changed to LED. That's a huge plus. And this has sort of a double vanity. We've got this vanity here, and then we've got another one right over here. By the way, there's space back behind here. There's space down below. Look at the cabinet space. That's huge down there. And then over here, we've got three super deep drawers just in this space alone, not including this cabinet, cabinet space. And it looks like one has already been upgraded to LED, and that thing is so bright that you don't need to add the other two, but you can if you'd like to. This is our shower. Let's see how big it is. All right, good size space. Incredible amount of headroom here. No uh, skylight. Honestly, skylights are interesting. We've just got a nice domed LED light here, super bright LED light. Um, the width in here is solid. This is bigger than average for sure. Um, bigger than average for sure. Ooh, Oxygenics uh, head, that's nice. And yeah, just a nice little area. There is a vent fan right over there too. And you know, without having the skylight, you just got less chances of leaking. Which by the way, this headliner is super clean. Close that, put our travel lock on that tempered glass piece. And across the hall, we've got our toilet room. We've got a porcelain toilet there. It's a larger version of the RV toilets here. We've got a window up above. And this can lock into place just like the one in the kitchen can. LED lights in here. Big storage. big storage. There are outlets here in the bathroom, which is thoughtful. And by the way, this has been pre-plumbed for a washer dryer um, combo or a stack because you could, well, actually, I don't know if you could put a stack in here. No, this is made for a combo. You'd put a combo right down there and then the connections are right behind that wall. So if you'd want to, you could definitely have one installed without having that much bigger extra cost of plumbing it. It's hard to do. So it's a good space in there too, I like that. And again, headliner is super clean. Look at this, wallpaper is super clean, solid walls in here. Common place to see a window left open and you know wallpaper would be shriveling up. Now over here is our bedroom. And I love the flow here. Because the slide out begins in the um, bathroom space, when you walk into the bedroom, there's a pretty wide walkway and there's a wide walkway around the whole bed. We've got another upgraded TCL TV in the corner. Check out this woodwork. It's so sleek. Um, it's so cool how it's bent and curved like that. And there are accent lights up on the top. So at night, you can just run the accent lights and sit in here and vibe out. Queen size bed. You certainly have space for, at minimal, an Olympic size queen. There's looks to be about seven or eight inches of extra space around the bed. Outlets on both sides. There's cabinet drawers on both sides. Nice space. There's a fire extinguisher nicely mounted right by the headboard. Window right here. Big window over there. Um, and then we've got a nice huge closet here. And this is set up as a his and her closet. You've got a partition in here. So you can hang everything up right here. LED light comes on. And then over on the other side, we have another very tall spacious cabinet space or wardrobe space so that's super nice we're set up quite well in here um, the intake for our air conditioners right there fresh filters in the in air conditioner intake and over here where we've got our nice tcl smart tv that's been upgraded a little bit of cabinet space extra outlets um, and a little bit of extra storage space. Haven't been able to get this radio on, but it's not that big of a deal. Bedroom is nice. So again, look how big this window is and look at the space to walk around. That's without, you're gonna have that space regardless of the slide. And this north-south bed is quite terrific for when you have the slides closed because you can easily get in and out of the bed this way instead of having to roll over each other. North-south beds are terrific for on the road traveling. And that is a tour of the inside of this coach. You know, I'm definitely missing a lot of things like this big extra deep cabinet drawer down here. 
extra cabinet drawer down below the fridge and numerous other things but the interior overall um, feels very nice to me it feels very home like to me and I quite like that um, the accent lights and the woodwork are two big highlights of this interior um, in addition to the upgrades and the general floor plan the way it's set up um, are huge positives in my mind let's go ahead and take it on the road getting on the highway now with this coach so far it's got plenty of power um, Allison shifts perfectly and the ride is really nice the steering is butter smooth which I quite like on this coach right now I'm merging in front of a truck so I'm on full power here 55 60 65 and I could keep going if I want, but I'm gonna sit here. The bus feels tight. Um, with only 38,000 miles, it really hasn't been driven that much at all. And I mean, it feels brand new to, to be honest. That many miles, yeah, it should feel brand new. Um, the question is, how does it feel um, on the highway? At least currently, that's the question. It feels stable. It feels very stable. I've got all kinds of traffic around me right now, and it just wants to go straight. Coach drives very nicely. Engine, I can't even hear it, really. Um, you barely hear it when you're around town. I just had to get on the brakes here. So it's very nicely insulated from the engine. Road noise is excellent. We're just doing 65 miles an hour plus, and minimal rattles i don't hear any rattles coming from cabinetry like those wood rattles you can tell they're kind of a harder knock sound like a tick like <laughs> none of those coming from the interior right now going over bumps there's no rattles i'm really trying to tune into that right now i've been driving it i actually just used this coach to go to ace hardware and home depot so i uh, got a little experience in it but see when you just hit like that bump we just went over those bumps expose all the rattles in the coach because it just goes poof, it just shakes the coach like that really um, and in this coach, there's absolutely minimal rattles. There's just some occasional little stuff from the back, but it's very tight. None of this cabinetry up here is making a peep. Dash isn't making a peep. Um, I literally can't hear the engine over air conditioning, which by the way, it's blowing ice cold air on me right now. We've got the generator running. It's been running for the last two hours with the air conditioner on it. This is a beautiful driving coach on the highway. Let's check it out on the tighter roads here. Okay, now we're on this tight back road here that leads to our facility. And uh, you're gonna hear some bumps. Like right here, we've got a free of charge speed bump. Thanks to whatever clown decided to dig up the road right there, put down a line and then do that uh, to cover back up. But this thing is driving quite nicely. As you saw, we went over that literal speed bump in the middle of the road coach took it like a champ we're floating on this air ride chassis right now I'm just I've got two fingers gripping this thing literally two fingers driving on the road no problem um, and I'm on a tight country back road we're well, not country but uh, tight back road exhaust brake comes in butter smooth it's not the strongest exhaust brake but it's contributing to our stopping power and it doesn't jolt you forward. You just it just comes in nice and easy. A truck passing the other way. Cruise control works perfectly, by the way. Um, you can adjust your tilt here. You kick that pedal up and down. Cockpit's laid out pretty nicely. You know, I've got extra defrost fan buttons there. I've got docking lights there. I can turn the air horn on and off. So that's the air horn. There's a regular horn. I can uh, turn on mirror heat. My exhaust brake's over on my left. Um, it's got a battery boost, so you can combine your banks of battery to jump the coach off. And this thing is just fantastic. Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay, massive touchscreen. The cameras are absolutely terrific too. Because remember, these are brand new upgraded cameras. When you indicate, you can see everything vividly. And the rear backup camera is crystal clear. 
in addition to this very expensive, nice Apple CarPlay unit right here, all the speakers for the sound system in the front have been upgraded. So you can really rock out um, and jam out in this coach. The front cockpit is terrific, especially for the passenger. Ton of space up around there. It's just a very, very nice setup. Um, and it drives, it drives very nicely. 8.3 miles to the gallon is what it's indicating to me. Um, I believe the previous owner was telling me he was getting about uh, 12. I could be wrong on that. Um, I'll have to double check with him. But either way, the 6.7 is gonna be very fuel efficient and you still have a 10,000 pound towing capacity. It's a nice coach, a very compelling package. And the brakes feel perfect too, 38,000 miles. Uh, this thing is not even, it's, it's far from being broken in um, as far as the chassis and the diesel goes. And see this 37 foot length is so maneuverable too. I mean, I'm just bouncing through this roundabout like it's nothing. And this roundabout is kind of my nemesis. Um, but I don't even have to pay attention. I'm not even looking at the curb on my right side. It's just easy to get around, you know? Um, really, it's a sweet spot of length if you wanna go do a lot of out west traveling and stuff like that, this length is perfect. Visibility is great too. Huge curved panoramic windshield. And then these windows are massive. Passenger window is the same as this. So I've got this massive, nice view, no fog in these windows, maybe a hair of fog in that passenger window but I just noticed that because I was trying to nitpick it. The coach drives excellently. 10 out of 10 as far as the driving experience um, goes of what this should be. Actually, I'd give it an 11 out of 10 because we've got upgraded cameras and stuff that didn't come from the factory. It's a great driving bus. Can make you uh, many good memories traveling down the road and you will be very comfortable while tra traveling down the road. Right now, it's super hot outside. It's 2.40 p.m., about the hottest part of the day and I'm comfortable. I could go to sleep right here. I've got dash AC, I got air conditioner coming from the basement AC off the generator. This is the way to travel. Thank you so much, and um, we'll catch you all on the next one.